Hi, I'm Tim Shoemaker. I'm the author of Code of Silence and Bag Before Dark. And what I thought I'd do uh, today is uh, show you a little bit about where I write. But first I want to say thank you uh, for watching this vlog. I'm happy to be making this for you. So I want to show you where I do some of my writing. And then I thought maybe we'd take a look at some of the places that are uh, from the books themselves. But first of all, the books. Code of Silence. It was the first in the series. And uh, with this story, we met three friends. They're in eighth grade, and they witness a violent crime. And they're afraid, when they see this, that their lives will be at risk. And so they form a pact, a code of silence, not to tell anybody. And that's when their troubles really begin. And then, the next book in the three-book series, Back Before Dark. This just came out. Our friends are back together again. This time, one of them gets abducted. And during the rest of that book, we see uh, that grief, that uh, guilt that Cooper wrestles with because he saw the abduction take place, but he wasn't able to help. He wasn't able to get there in time. And so the rest of this book, he's looking and taking increasing risks to find his best friend. It's a great and exciting book. Been getting great reviews on it. But anyway, here's where uh, I do a lot of my writing. It's a, it's a comfortable office. I'm really thankful to have it. And it's kind of surrounded by creative things. I've got things from my past. I've got pictures of people I love that actually help inspire characters in my book. A lot of times I'm uh, surrounding myself with things I'm using in the story. In Back Before Dark, when he strapped his dad's dive knife on, well, here it is. Got it right here in the office to kind of help keep things inspired. In fact, we've got a little bit of uh, dive gear and things here. And you're wondering, where did that show up in Back Before Dark? Actually, it's the third book in the series, Below the Surface, that I'm working on right now. So we've got some of these things cooking. One of the best things about my office is it's really close to the refrigerator, and I use that often. But to be honest, I don't do all my writing here. Let's look at a couple other places that I like to write. Here I am in my backyard. It's another place I like to write. Uh, it gets you out of the house. Uh, things are alive out here. I think it keeps the writing a little bit fresh. I like to get out here in the spring, the summer, and even way into the fall. Um, and it's still close to the refrigerator. This is one of the places I really love to come to write. And I love their sweet tea, too. This is Plum Grove Junior High, and this is where Cooper, Gordy, Hero, and Lunk go to school. We're here at Kimball Hill Park. This is where the kids spend a lot of time. In fact, they ride their bikes in between their house and Frankenstein's, which is just up this way. And uh, so this is the last place where Cooper, Hero, Gordy, and Lunk are together before the abduction. And there's actually kind of a creepy looking character hanging around out here right now. So I'm out of here. We're on the bike path. It's actually in a tunnel underneath Kirchhoff Road. And the kids ride on their way to Frankensteins, they ride through there, they come through the park on the other end. And this can be a really spooky place to be, especially when you're riding at night. Well, here we are at our last stop on the vlog tour. We're at Frankensteins. This is the very booth that Cooper and the gang like to hang out. They get their fries, their monster shakes, they make their plans, they try to figure out how to get out of the trouble that they're in. Hey, I'm really glad that you joined us today for this, and I hope you love the books. Hey, Tim. Your monster shake is ready. That would be for me. <laughs>